Yo, what is up, YouTube, man? I showed you guys the best jump shot for guards, the best jump shot for taller wing builds. Now I got you guys with the best jump shot for any build that's six foot ten or taller. Now you can see in these clips, I'm actually on a seven foot three max wingspan center with a 77 three pointer. No hot spots. I have my rebirth badges, so you know I got Claymore on gold. I think Green Machine on bronze. That is about it. So if I'm doing this out in the park. I mean, the potential is crazy. You could possibly never miss a shot if you get the timing down. I am even using my jump shot meter. I kept it on because I've been playing on a smaller build. I was like, let me keep the meter on just in case the shot is super slow so I can get used to it. Once I end up taking the meter off, you get the boost from that as well. Let's get into this jump shot. If you guys are new, if you don't drop me a like and subscribe, I do appreciate it a ton. It helps me add a ton. The base of this jump shot is O'Shea Brissette. Now, a lot of people have been using this base on their even shorter builds like the six foot eights, the six foot nines. I talked about it a bit in the video I dropped yesterday about those. So don't feel like you just have to use this jump shot on your center. If you have a lock and you like this jump shot, you like how it looks, you like the speed, definitely try it out. I'm using Tim Duncan as release one, DeAndre Jordan as release two. Now you see the release speed is an A plus, the release height is an A, the defensive immunity is an A minus. The only thing that's bad is the timing impact. But it doesn't matter if the slide is. If I shoot a shot, if I feel like I timed it right, it goes in every single time. There's never a situation where I release it perfectly and my guy shoots a white. It always turns green. And like I said, this is without badges, without hot spots. Here is the blending for you guys. 41% DeAndre Ayton, 59% Tim Duncan. I'll have all kinds of gameplay coming out, shooting on the 7 foot 3 on 3v3 Park, 2v2, 5v5, Cobb Pro-Am. It's going to be crazy. If you guys are wondering, you know, what badges would I recommend? Green Machine, slept on badge. I keep saying it in every video. Claymore, 100%. You get a boost if you're just standing still for a second. And it goes all the way up to four seconds of standing still, giving you a boost. Catch and shoot, corner specialist. Obviously, this build does get limitless on bronze. Now, should you be taking, you know, limitless threes on a 77 3.7 foot three? Maybe. Shooting does feel that easy if you can green the shot. Like, you know, we're, you're never going to hit a white. Just forget about that. you got to be able to time your jump shot this year. There's no shooting slightly late, slightly early and getting bailed out. Other than the shooting badges, if you want to run sharp takeover, put on spot up precision, that's going to help out tremendously, especially with how fairly easy it is to get team takeover this year and get your hot spots. Put it on rookie five minute quarters. Go out there, just shoot everything. You can get them very easily. And even though there's no hot zone hunter, they still help out a ton. Let me know how you guys are shooting. If you guys are using this space, if you are using a different jump shot for your big, this is Tonic Men. I will catch you guys in the next one. I'm out. Peace.